Is it time? Is it time, Steve? You ready, Rex? 39 degrees. It's the coldest it's been in a while, huh, T-Rex? Calm down. Let's go easy. Let's go easy. Anybody else coming out? Let's go, Steve. Come on. Good boy. All right. We're out the door for weather and more. Last time in 2023. Although to me, New Year's is just another day. But, of course, we have to go out to dinner and do something tonight, right? How's the weather going to be for your New Year's Eve? Looks fairly tranquil down here in the Boston area. Can't quite shake the cloud. Thought there'd be more sun than this. How about the ice bucket challenge? Day eight. No ice in the bucket. This is a thaw. Extended thaw. Although it did get down below freezing in most spots uh, just outside of Boston this morning. But we could have ourselves a major weather mystery going on. In northern Vermont, last night, it was precipitating. But... The precipitation up around three, 4,000 feet was liquid precipitation. Super cold rain and drizzle with a temperature of about 10 to 15 degrees. Everything was coated, very pretty to look at, with ice last night in the mountains of northern Vermont. Meantime, say you stayed at a place like the Stohoff. Uh, down below Mount Mansfield, down the mountain road, at around one to 2,000 feet or lower, there was a half a foot of snow. So upside down weather. Thank you, Carl Weller, Carl Jr., Donna, for letting me know what happened last night and this morning with this video from down near the Matterhorn where it was snowing pretty hard while it was only misting up at the mountain. How can you have snow down in the village and rain up on the mountain? Freezing rain, yes. Super cooled water up top. And an inversion above that. So what happened was there was this layer up around 4,000 feet that happened to be colder than the layer above it and below it. So that super cooled water fell and formed these mysterious patches of four to six inches of snow being verified by a lot of people up in the Stow area. All right, Steve, where'd you go? Steve just took off on me. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. He went down there, didn't he? Steve, where'd you go? Time out. Oh, that scared me a little bit there, Steve. Good, he didn't take off down the hill. All right, that's what I get for trying to think so much, thinking about the weather. I've been up for hours and I've been just trying to figure out this mystery. It's not as simple as what I was just saying. I totally got distracted by Steve. And I also watched my favorite show this morning. Uh, one of my favorite TV shows, programs, uh, CBS Sunday Morning. And uh, you know, it's always the end of the year where they tell you all the people we lost over the last year. That was always so sad and countless names. But then at the very end, they have this uh, moment of nature and this morning's moment of nature on the CBS show was from Cape Cod. Uh, it was a sunrise and uh, someone named Miller, I think, uh, Jeff Miller, was it? I uh, took that video of the sun coming up at the National Seashore. I'm not sure what day it was, but there are the seals and the gulls and everything. That was really pretty. So I appreciate, I do appreciate some television, <laughs> but obviously this is my favorite station, YouTube here, out the door weather and more. And so many comments from you, from around the world, really, people in Scotland and the United Kingdom, and most in Jennifer and Northern Vermont. Jennifer, how was the skiing today? Probably not that great, was it? <laughs> it's pretty crowded too, because I heard it was very icy. And uh, Donald Peacock, uh, he says, uh, "Are those uh, Johnson woolen uh, leftover pants you got there?" <laughs> uh, no, Donald, those are <laughs> Old Navy pajamas <laughs> I got for Christmas. I love them though; they're nice and warm. And uh, also Gogan uh, saying. Uh, that it seems like he's chatting with a friend every day when he uh, watches this video. So I really appreciate all that. And uh, <laughs> uh, we're late today for sure because I was trying to study all that weather. And boy, is there a lot of weather on our plate. The pattern is shifting. We're getting colder. And there are these storms coming off the Pacific. You've been watching those and they're breaking into pieces. Part of them go across Canada and that usually tries to warm us up. And the other parts are going across the southern United States, which tries to cool us off. 
And as long as those two streams stay separate with one zinging by to the north and another one zinging by to the south, you're not gonna get a huge storm. But every other run of every other model is trying to phase a storm on the east coast. Uh, the one we've been talking about most recently was for late next week. So let's go to the 48, lower 48, uh, the Euro model. And we see this little low sliding south of us tonight. And it's going to bring in slightly colder air. A few cities now may have a snowflake or two in the air. Um, maybe New York City or so, but I, I, not much. Anyhow, uh, so cold air is here tomorrow. And then there's a high pressure to our south that tries to warm up a little bit here Tuesday into Wednesday. And that Wednesday night front, boy, look at the wind packing up in here on Thursday morning. It is going to be freezing cold and windy on Thursday morning. And things are going by so fast. There's a low missing us to the south at that time. That was supposed to come up a couple days ago forecast. Now look what happens over the weekend. One comes right up the coast, and look at that monstrous storm coming right across New England. That's next Sunday. And then, oh, my God, here comes another one. Oh, my gosh, here comes another one. Sorry, getting carried away. In the middle of the nation that tries to bring rain and snow and ice to us around, uh, what's that, uh, the, the 9th or 10th of January. That's out about uh, a week from Tuesday or so. So uh, this is all lined up one after another, and I can just guarantee one thing. <laughs> this is all wrong. None of that's going to happen in that order in those places. You're going to have to go with a two- to three-day forecast and here's the snowfall amounts, and this is going to be wrong too, but uh, this is going into week 11 of coast-to-coast -coast snow in North America, and you can just see it going all the way down the south. Looks like, uh, looks like probably about 75% of the states are going to get at least a little snow. <laughs> Once again, it shows no snow along the south coast from New York City to Boston, but again, uh, you got to you know, give it a wide margin of error on this. I mean, every day is going to be just like white knuckle driving trying to make this forecast so it's going to be really exciting this week and we've definitely shifted to a more wintry pattern sort of like we were coming uh, into thanksgiving where if you do get a warm-up it only lasts a short time and there'll be snow on the front side and snow on the back side and it will snow again in boston someday i know it's been years it <laughs> seems like it uh, since we've had to plow snow around here but i have a hunch uh, about 30 days from now uh, the snow in my yard right here will be Steve deep. The snow is going to be right up to about here. So thank you to all the contributors, the Weller family. And then uh, yesterday, Ross and Weir went over to Crotched Mountain. They said the skiing was okay. Uh, they, got contrib they offer some contribution. And what else? Oh, yeah, I came out yesterday to check the rain gauge, and uh, we flushed a bird. Tell me what kind of bird that was. And uh, I think I have some more tanker going by. And anyhow... Uh, this is the last one for 2023 and we'll see what door we go out tomorrow i hope to post tomorrow that's the goal anyway talk to you later don't look at the brown ground below me but just look what's falling from the sky uh, i think there is some winter still to be had finally it's back welcome back here we are up on Crotchet. Where are we? It's, Top. It's right Crotch of Mountain in southern New Hampshire. It's Unbelievable. Here. Unbelievable. Well, this is the, the latest uh, with the climate change. <laughs> yeah, we, so. we finally found winter. Look at it. Yeah. It's just nuking up top here. Let's winter get is some back. Hey. All right, let's get some fresh air. in the tracks. All right, here we go. Okay. Six degrees of midday update. And I got to empty the rain gauge earlier today, and it's been raining harder than they I said it was going to. T Rex, I didn't tie you up. Can you stay over here? So we've got some convection. This is actually the upper level low from that Midwest storm that's been going by. Uh, been pumping warm air up here, going by now up over our head. So 0 0.08, so that gets us to uh, about 0.94. I think for the entire event so far, three days, 0 0.08. Let's see if we get any more. This should have been snow any other year. This kind of precipitation on the backside of two days worth of weather would have been snow. But at least at the top of Sunday River, Isaac says they got four inches up there. Matches up with Mount Washington. So it is snowing way up there in the sky. Vermont kind of missed this one. All right, T-Rex, let's go back inside. It's cold out. Nice green grass though. See that? It's a hawk. Uh, I think they call that a, uh, looks like a baby hawk. Uh, oh, there's the sun. 
uh, Cooper's or uh, Shin, Shin something. <laughs> what kind of hawk was that T-Rex? You spooked him. Sharp Shin, Sharp Shin. And the starlings have been going nuts today too, earlier with Steve, but I didn't get video of that. Anyhow, sun's coming out. Almost looks like a snow sky. Very high tide. Very interesting sky. Hey Santa, sorry about the no snow. Doesn't it look kind of snow squally up there, but alas, not this time. Don't know if it's ever gonna snow around here again. 420, Saturday, December 30th. The sun's going down right this minute. And we have cold air advection commencing. The end of the thaw begins right now. Come on camera, focus. That's the drier, colder air coming in from the Northwest. Day seven of this extended thaw. It's been kind of brutal if you like winter weather. But it's been good saving on the heating bill. We are back into winter mode until further notice. Maybe even an entire week. Over and out for today.